I have to start with the coronavirus. Anything else would be, uh, you know, problematic. You were talking in your press conference just now about the kind of recovery that you expect. Will it be a V-shaped recovery that we see still in this half, or do you expect the damage to continue out into Q3, Q4? What I said is that we still believe in the baseline of our scenarios, but the risks surrounding this baseline are, of course, increasing, and the corona coronavirus is one of them. Uh, and uh, I would expect that we will have to perhaps slightly revise downwards our, our forecast. But then the uh, most likely assumption is still that this is a V-shaped effect. So the coronavirus will have an effect, uh, but once it is contained, the recovery will, or the normalization will then happen quite quickly. Do you have to act now with some sort of monetary support? Uh, I know that Philip Lane, for example, argues that you need to do that kind of thing preemptively, and certainly the markets have priced in cuts. I think we have to carefully assess uh, the situation. At the same time, uh, we have to acknowledge that uh, we are confronted with a combination of a supply shock and demand shocks. Uh, so uh, our target is a price stability, and this negative supply shock could even uh, lead to a hike in prices. This is one. And then the other question is uh, how effective are our in instruments to counter any uh, possible demand effect uh, that we are observing? I mean, the, the, the question I asked in the press conference was, are you more likely to go out, eat out uh, in a restaurant uh, if we decrease uh, interest rates? In the case, are you are restraining your consumption because of the uh, coronavirus? So effectiveness is one point, and then uh, we have to see whether it's demand or supply, supply side effects that dominate. Uh, and then you have to uh, also note that monetary policy is already quite uh, accommodative. Uh, liquidity is abundant. Interest rates are already quite low. To, so to some extent, we provided already some, some sort of insurance. So on the issue of supply, I spoke with the CEO of uh, BASF today, and he singled out the supply chain as his number one biggest problem. They're at the heart of, you know, German industry. Um, what tools do you have? What tools does any central bank have to deal with a, su a supply side shock? Well, it's uh, in, in a way interesting that you ask the central bank because there are instruments available, uh, uh, fiscal policy instruments or social policy instruments for such cases like uh, short time allowances that we have used in the past and that have proved quite, uh, quite effective. So in a sense, uh, this should be a debate uh, uh, addressed to fiscal policy makers and not to central bankers alone.